Hi, I'm Isabel, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today we'll be creating a paper house. For the house project, you're going to need some white glue, like Elmer's, a glue stick, scissors, pos if possible, two sizes, some tiny em embroidery scissors for the detailed bits, some papers. These can be recycled papers, papers that you colour yourself, and plain white cardstock. I'm going to show you how to make a simple paper house. The symbolism of a house represents an enclosed space. A house is a place for shelter that will protect us from the outside world. To make the paper house, I'm going to start with white cardstock. You need to cut off a long rectangle. Later on you can play with the size, um, but the first one I recommend doing it quite big when you're learning the process. You can measure it or you can just eyeball it. And then cut that off the main piece. We need to create um, a flap to glue the house together so that the walls will fit together. So we just need to, um, you can measure it or um, just guess it, but um, probably about between a quarter and half inch in. And I'm going to score it with my scissors so that I can fold it. and fold that piece in and you're going to take the rectangle and fold it all the way to the fold line then you're going to fold it all the way over again then you open it back out these are going to be the four walls of your house. We need to create the gables of the house, the pointed bits next. So I'm going to measure down um, so you've got about three quarters left for the, for the windows. So about an inch and a half down. And draw a line across. And you need to have a point um, every other, so I'm going to do one here, leave a gap, and do another one. Um, so if you find the point at the top, which is between the two edges, so about there, and you can measure if you want to be more exact, but you can just eyeball it, and then you're going to draw a triangle like this. And you're going to do another one here. And then we're going to cut all the way along here. So now you've got the shape of your house. You can fold it back round. We're going to create the windows next. So eventually this is going to go around and stick like that. The way that you create the windows, you can do two sets at once. You fold it in and then you can draw on with your pencil. This is where you're going to need the embroidery scissors because they have a much sharper spike. So you put it into the middle and then cut out to the edge. Before you glue it up, if you would like to add coloured tissue paper in for the windows, like, like this one and this one, which creates a lovely effect if you put a light inside, take some coloured tissue paper and stick it into your house like this, so you can mark with a pencil how big to make it. You can always lay on a different colour as well. 
I'm going to glue that one down. You need to measure the, the sides of your triangle, which it's two inches, and I'm going to add a little, I'm going to add half an inch on so that I've got some hangover on the roof like this one. And a little bit extra the other this way too. I'm going to double it so it's five now for the length of the roof. Fold it in half. Just make sure you've got the size right. That looks good. And then if you want um, a window in the roof, like this one, you would do that now. Open it back out and then add some tissue paper on if you would like to do that. sure it's going to fit and then um, for this bit it's good to use some white glue you want to glue along the edges of the house like this to hold it in place while it's drying if you take another piece of card and fold it up and put it over the top it will hold it down while it's drying and that's the paper house. You can experiment. It's really nice to paint your papers first and then cut into them. I used oil pastel here and watercolors and a bit of acrylic. And then I drew the windows on with a um, Sharpie. You could also cut the bars of the window out of extra card if you want to. This one was made from black paper and then I used tracing paper for the windows. This one was made from recycled paper. So have fun experimenting. You could make a whole village. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's Art in Action.